Hey guys, no makeup life over here. Today, Mochi and I are going to the vet. Hey, Mochi. Oh, Mochi has, it's kind of hard to see if he'll sit still, some blotting on his mouth. So I'm thinking it's allergies, especially because corgis, <laughs> corgis are so well known for their allergies. Um, so that's what we're gonna go do today. I'm gonna get ready. Get ready. We're on our way to the vet right now. Nervous? She's okay. We're gonna be okay. So Mochi and I just got back from the vet, and what's going on is a food allergy and some sort of like bacterial infection on his mouth because. Um, if he's allergic to the food, uh, he was saying that it might have just caused some sort of infection on his mouth, so he gave him some um, antibiotics. He recommended to switch the food if it continued after the antibiotic, but I think I'm going to probably go ahead and switch the food to something more for allergies and stuff for him now, so we'll probably go a little bit later. Uh, but right now I'm about to eat lunch, and then we'll probably go to PetSmart. by a bunch of ants. So I went to PetSmart and I got Moji's new food. Sweet potato and fish formula. Natural balance. This is LID, which is like limited ingredients. Um, we're thinking that it has to do with some sort of poultry. I don't know, some sort of ingredient that's causing his allergies. I went online and this one's supposed to be one of the best foods for allergies. That, that is not an actual prescription diet, but I'm really hoping that once the antibiotics are done, and he's on the new food for a while, then he'll be fine. Check out the ghost shrimp. They're so hard to see. Anyway, I got some, some ghost shrimp. Here is the female beta tank. This is my sorority that I have. So the goal is to clean up this algae that grew because I forgot to turn the light out at night. Um, so clean it up a little bit, do a water change, add some more water, and add in the ghost shrimp. Go shrimp. See him right there. There's one. I don't know where the rest went. They're clear. There's one there, but I think he came dead or almost dead because he's on his back. And that guy's cool. I'll probably get some more. They help to clean up any like little fish food that doesn't get eaten. They just put that food in there, so. Some of them are still going for it. See that beta? Okay, water change done. Now we're gonna find out if Mochi likes the new food. All right, so I'm gonna do, there's his old food. That's about half a cup, and then this is about a quarter of a cup. I already added some fish oil. 
and let's just kind of mix it around. Let's see how you like it. See? The new kibble is like flat and round and the old kibble was like triangular. You can kind of see that pink on his nose is just from his allergies. I was gonna make some chicken tonight, some chicken drumsticks, but it's still frozen. It's like a couple days before payday, so I don't really have that many groceries. Oh, look, I can go eat some ramen. Ooh, and I'll make some edamame. Delicious. He ate it all. Was it good? Did you like it? Nom. Mochi. Mochi, no more chicken for you, baby. And these are like his favorite treats in the world. Oh, I'm sorry. I got you some new treats, though. They go with your food. Hopefully you like them. Let's see. Will Mochi like it? Pop? Huh? <laughs> Pop? Huh? Oh, good job. Yay. Did you like it? Was it good? Mm. I am so tired. So I'm going to eat dinner. I'm going to watch some YouTubes. Um, maybe I'll paint something, we'll see, but then I'm just gonna rest and go to sleep.